what I'm sketching out is I'm doing a rough draft of what I want it to look like. With the big oak trees and the moss hanging on the trees, it's gonna be an old cabin house here with a, a cistern or rain barrel on it. And I'm capturing what you will see on a Sunday drive on the back roads of Louisiana. Most people want to capture things that they want to remember. You take a 90-year-old man that went through his life, he done seen some things, but he's always going to be something that he wants to remember. I capture people's memories from the days of visiting grandma and grandpa, or the days they lived along the bayou, or whatever road they may have traveled. I take these old boys and I tell that story. These old boards come off of old slave buildings and old cabins and barns. Can you imagine 200 years ago what these boards have seen? As you're carving, you want it to be fun. Never work, it's always fun. So sometimes I get a little rhythm and I'm thinking about some Zydeco music playing while I'm working and I got a little, and it keeps just a little flow going there. The next thing you know, people say, boy, you're making old boards play music. I just love it. It's a passion, it's a love, but it also, you're capturing the history of where you come from. My grandmother lived in places just like this, and I was fascinated how she could make it in those days. She died at 91. Can you imagine the things that she did to survive? Now I'm able to recreate buildings like that, old subject matters, and as I'm doing them, I'm thinking, what she had here, she had chickens, she had the fence, she had the ball. So all of the stuff I do, it tells a story, and it's really a true life. And I'm just passionate about it, and it's our way of life here in Louisiana, like no other.